Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Clock Tower. We just finished playing a prologue with uh, a certain Mr. Barton, and now we have taken control of Helen. So, we can see where this goes, I guess. We're suddenly in front of this woman who was uh, in Barton's office. Beth? So, let's chat it up. You said your hard drive crashed? That's too bad. Yes, I lost all of this morning's data. Oof. I hope I can get it fixed sometime today, otherwise... I won't get my dissertation. Done on time. Ouch. Don't worry. When Danny gets back, I'm sure he'll be able to help you. You're probably right. In the meantime, I'm going to step out for a bit. Would you ask Danny for me, please? Sure. See you later. Where should I go, period? Yeah, this is kind of cool. Like, you get to actually choose locations. It's really, uh, it's kind of clever. Police Street. Oslo Weekly Newspaper Company. Norway International Hotel. Municipal Library. University Research Building. And University Staff Housing. Hooray! So... Yeah, let's start off with, uh, research. Oh, did I say police street? For God's sake, it's gotta be police station. Uh-huh. The police station. Police street. <laughs> okay, do I press something? Okay, I press something. Assistant P Inspector Guts, the person in charge of the clock tower case is here. Man, it's so weird skipping to the next line of text and it's one damn word and they keep doing this. Well, hey, Teach, got some new info? No. Have you got any leads? Nope, nothing. Well, bye. That old geezer of yours, he ain't coming clean. Do you mean Professor Barton? Yeah, that's him. He said there ain't nothing straight about the case. God, they keep doing this. Yes, that sounds like Professor Barton. Look at how much space there is to the right. Do they not want to go over the cursor or something? It's killing me here. Uh, well, that was cool. Do I keep talking? What about that little cutie? Jennifer? She's still having nightmares. Occasionally. Oh, my God. I ain't surprised. She was almost slashed up, too, wasn't she? Well, let me know if you learned something. Okay, bye. Cool. I have to wonder if these press enter to continue things are like related to the Japanese text or something. Because with the English text, a lot of this makes no sense. With like a one four letter word on the next line, it's driving me crazy. All right, so at this point, we can hit up the hotel. Edward and his guardian are staying here. Beautiful. That looks pretty cool. They're here! Oh, Helen. How's it going? Any results from Professor Barton's therapy? No, but we can't give up hope. Sometimes something will jog one's memory. Like trauma, <laughs> yes. Will you be staying here long? Uh, Mr. Barton also thought it a good idea. We plan to stay here for a while. Oh, really? Well, hang in there, Edward. Yes, Miss Maxwell. Cool story. I didn't realize it was this late. I've got to get back to the university. Yeah, so that's what, like, I guess there's like timestamps for these, which is kind of cool. Where was the university? Okay, there it is. Well, I should get home and work on my dissertation. Once again, it just like props us right in front of... All right, so... 
Oh, Miss Maxwell. I replaced your hard drive. Cool. Thanks, that's a big help. I'm going down to the lounge for a short nap. What are you going to do? Well, we will all be going home soon. Oh, okay. Well, no need to lock up. Okay. Yay. Helen Maxwell, Scenario 1. So now, actual Clock Tower gameplay begins. We're, we're done data gathering. See, now we're, now we're playing like this with the... Where we can actually move around a little bit. So, okay, there's a person. Rose. Is that you, Baker? Oh, it's you, Helen. Baker's still in the lab. Cool. Are you seeing Baker again here? A Rose, are you? Yes, sort of. Well, no matter how late it is, remember, don't use the university as a motel. Ugh. Let me sleep a little longer until Baker comes. All right. Speaking of letting her sleep. You have to be precise, man. Okay, it's getting very spooky in here. Bunk beds for napping. Sure are. Oh, I guess there we go. I'll take a quick cat nap and then work on my report. I love how she just stands up there. Game over. Who is tap tap tapping at my chamber door? Am I, am I actually going to get it? Hey, what? Hi. Alright. Well, now who is it? Okay. Some guy. Oh! Oh! How do I do anything? How do I do it? I can't. What? 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 what I, for can I, is this even gameplay? Like I, that might have just been her running out. I, I couldn't actually do anything. Uh, d I'm out. It, are you goddamn kidding me? Okay, let's go this way then. I love how she like gets to the door and calmly opens it. Oh man, this guy is. Uh, oh my god. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I gotta find some place to hide or do something. Uh, oh, there's nothing to, there's nothing to click on. What do I do? There's, there's, there's nothing to click on. There's nothing to click on. There's nothing to click on. I, okay. I have full panic, right? Can I just mash past them? Good game. God damn it. Like, like, oh, that's right. There's a continue option. So not everything is saving. Thank God. It was a good start. Yeah, let's go right the hell back out. Run into Scissor Man directly, be damned. Ooh. There it is. Did I just kick him in the butt? Alright. Oh, man, really? I don't... What? Help! Again, like old 3D games. Oh, what? 
Well, I guess I'm dead now. So that's cool. See ya, bro. Mash that button. Nope. Wow, I'm good at Clock Tower. What do you want from me? I, I hope I, I should start right at the same part on the staircase. Alright, let's go down, I guess. There's gotta be something I can actually do. Let's go to a lower floor, I guess. Oh, did I just go right back down from whatever? I don't care. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The bathroom? Maybe. I don't know. If I die, I die. I don't really care. Oh, here's the thing. Can I... Okay, I just not select it. I can't select anything. What is this? Why can't I select things? Like, did I... What? I can't select things. I guess like that. Now that it's too late, that's cool. So I guess, is this nothing? Cool, I guess I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. All right. Bam, I love that, just kick him. Let's try going in this room, or let's not? What the hell do you, oh, okay, I just didn't see the cursor. I probably should have gone in the bathroom and hidden in there. Oh, here, uh, computer, sure. Let's play with the computer. What? Do I have an item? Huh, I guess it takes care of Scissor Man. Well, that was pretty freaking intense. So, yeah. All right. What floor am I on? I have no goddamn clue. Is this the low? Is this the ground floor? Oh, wait a minute. No, you know what? I uh, I can go to the elevator and choose which floor I want. Let's do that. Also, I'm not a fan of my cursor being yellow and, like, not recovering. Unless it's, like, Clock Tower 1 and I just don't move and maybe my idleness will deal with it. Because, like, whenever I highlight something, it's just, it's yellow, then it turns to white. I can't tell. Like, in Clock Tower for the SNES, your idle animation would be you catching your breath and slowly, um, recovering your ability. <gasps> what? Are you? No. That is goddamn cheating. You got me, Clock Tower. You really did. That is clever. That is that is really clever. <laughs> Bathroom. I can't, I can't get a break. Stall, please. Is there like an item I can use? Oh, this is a crapshoot. Am I good? Hey. Hey, I did it. Damn, Clock Tower. I'm impressed. They're not gonna do the same scare twice, right? This time, if I check the elevator, am I good? Cause that would be kind of incredible if you were in the elevator twice. Like, don't don't even do that to me. And hey, now we're talking. I need to reorient myself. Oh, okay. I think I actually want to be here. So we're, we're we're after all that, we're good. Damn, that that was pretty good. That really was. I can't, I'm not even mad. Don't be in the door. Now, now I don't know if I can go into rooms. You know? <gasps> you are you? You gotta be kidding me!
Whoa, the computer's also a like, kill. That was actually really cool, but I cannot freaking believe this is happening right now. Now here's the big question. Am I allowed to cheat? That's the big question. Please fall for it twice. Oh man, I think I shot the moon. Got, gotta say though, that was a, that was a really cool little effect. It was kind of okay. It was kind of cheesy, but kind of cool at the same time. All the computer monitors say "kill" as he menacingly comes toward me. Not bad, Clock Tower. I can get behind this. That was pretty good. You got me again. I can't freaking believe this is happening. Are we good? Are, are we really good? Are you sure? Is this a room I can go into and use, please? Ch freaking chill out with this. Um, I just checked like two sets of computers here. I don't know. There are some t oh, there are some tools here. I wonder if it's being repaired. This might be useful. Pliers. Okay. Cool. Let's get out of here. That's really all I wanted. Man, scissor man. You know, in the original clock tower, his, um... Like, you never knew where he was going to be. But, like, once you figure out his spawn points, you can actually go through the entire game only triggering him once at the very beginning. Here, it's apparently... Like, there are there are set places where he could be. But, you know, he really might just possibly show up in a room that you have to be in. Which is actually... It makes the game a lot more, uh, frankly, interesting. It may not look as pretty as Clock Tower on the SNES, but, like, I have to be on my toes at all times. Sorry, that little thing startled me. And I can never tell what floor I'm on because every floor looks the same. Scissor man, maybe? No? Good. Although, doesn't this just look like the kind of room where if you search the wrong thing, scissor man would pop out? Doesn't it just look like that? There's another door. Is there anything to the right? I mean, there's this, but I'm, I'm not caring about this right now. Don't even... Come on! Guess I'm going back out. No mercy! For God's sake. Oh, I, actually, can I? Yeah. Oh, man. A sweet hiding spot, bro. Oof, that'll do it. That dispelled him, but here's a question. Do the laws of physics make sense, or is he just not in here? Good. Yeah, some of the ways you get rid of this scissor man are pretty cool. The fax machine rings. Am I? Can I? Can I move? Can I do it? Like, what do you? There it go. Jeez, I was getting nervous. Open sesame. Scissor man was in here. A flashlight. This might be useful. In the pitch black. Yeah. Okay. Is the, the books? Nothing that might be useful. Okay. Was it the 
phone. Who am I calling? Hello, police department. Really? There's been a murder. Come quickly, please. Please relax, ma'am. Did you see the murderer? He's the one with the giant scissors. Scissor man. You've heard of him, haven't you? If this is a prank phone. Call, I forgot really. Wait. Uh, it's it, you know, uh, so goddamn annoying. There's really nothing with the desk. All right. Anything out here? The fax machine. Oh, get ready! I'm coming to get you. The captain's coming to get you. That's pretty scary. Also, I love that the scissor man sent me a fax. That's kind of fantastic. That is some foreboding music, sound effects, whatever you want to call it. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, the potted plant's actually gone. Something written on the table? Oh, hint number five? That on the table? Okay. Well, <laughs> bye, I guess. Oh, I, mm, actually, you know what? I do want to do one other thing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I have to watch the slow animation. Give the police a call again. Hello, police department. Someone's been murdered. You've got to help, or he'll kill me too. Oh, it's you again. Please don't hang up. Scissor Man murdered my friend. Scissor Man. All right, already. We'll send someone. Oh, In the really? Meantime, lock all the doors. He's already somewhere in the building. What's your location? Southern Oslo University. Uh, ooh. Was that good enough? Did that part get through? That would be nice. This game doesn't play, man. I can't believe how many times I've encountered Scissor Man already, just from going to places I actually have to go. That's kind of nice. Alright. Scissor Man. Oh, really? Can I actually go into a room now? All right. Helen's desk, beautiful. Oh no, I left the key to the office laying here. Oh no, I have a key. I mean, I guess if I had... What? From which direction? From which direction? Okay, let's... Can I not go to the door anymore? Uh, can I... Can I... Can I... Can, 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 wait, he has to circle around, right? I'll circle around the other way. I'm a friggin' genius. And we are off to the races. Goodbye, sir. Can I use an item on him? Is there anything I can... Alright, see ya. I... Like, just standing here isn't even safe anymore. Are you freaking kidding me? I don't know what you want from me. Like, let's bathroom it up again. Let's let's really push the limit of what I can get, get get away with. Are you goddamn kidding? Okay. Come on, come on. Hurry it up. Hurry it up. Good.
Okay, I, I know I waited a little extra long, but I was bothered that that theme was still there. Oh man, these bathrooms. Th these are freaking lifesavers. Okay. Let's try that again. It is kind of cool though, one thing about it being 3D is that you can actually outmaneuver the Scissor Man if you're in a room that allows for it. In 2D Clock Tower, that was really hard. You basically had to use... Okay. You basically had to use uh, stairs if you could find them. So that's a thing. There's the books. Volumes in Psychoanalysis. Some of them were written by Professor Barton. Okay. Is that a thing? I can check his computer. His desk. That's right, Professor Barton's phone. Oh, okay. Should be able to call outside. The line is dead. I, I guess that makes sense. So, all right. I can get into the therapy room with this. And so I did. Whoa. <gasps> Here it comes. Ro Oof. Rose is laying on the bed. Is there going to be a scare? I'm pretty sure she's... Okay. That's brutal. Can I check that again? No. Uh, yes? Really? A treatment bed. Just the bed. That is... Dark. I kind of feel like I shouldn't be here. There are files on the desk. There's something written on the file. Hey, hey, hit number four. Hey, wait a minute. There were the, the replica giant scissors on this desk in the beginning of the game. They are not here. Is the killer killing with replica scissors? Are they functional, like, replica, like, sharp scissors? Because that would be dumb. Alright. Let's get the hell out. You know what, can I do anything with that mask? No, there's no investigating it. Man, I am so done with this <laughs> everything. This is terrible. What? Okay. I, I apparently stopped my character's movement. I thought I was gonna like wait for something to happen. Good thing I didn't. All right, we've checked the third floor, we've checked the second floor. May as well work our way down, right? I just don't want to navigate the stairs. I, I really don't. That, that we're here sound startled me again. Jeez. Surprise, surprise. The door's tightly shut. Well, then there's no way out. Well, we did what the police said and locked ourselves in, didn't we? Oh. Whoa. Wait. Wait a minute. Nothing? Okay. He got damn well better not up here behind me, by the way. There. I'll crack him with this. Ready? What? Oh, wow, that's not good. Oh, uh, I really... I did... Ooh. Ooh.
I did not expect that to just be a miserable failure. That genuinely shocked me. This music's pretty great, by the way. The bathroom! My go-to location is the bathroom. Come on. Fourth time is the charm? Oh wait, different animation? What? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Is it gone? Cause that music totally came and went and came and went again. Am I good? Damn, that actually got me nervous. Like, are we not good this time? Jeez. Chill out, game. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. So it looks like the character just stops because of the screen transition or something. Okay, let's go back in again. Now let's actually investigate the room. Here's a control panel, right? Nothing? Okay. We have this. A sofa the security guards often use for naps. Um, alright. Is this a thing? It's just a table? There's a key laying on the table. What's this? Storage key, goody. All right, there's this thing. Oh, there's another phone too, I'll get on that. <gasps> Jeez, that's a terrible idea. Now security will shoot you. <laughs> if I could somehow stay alive until then. Yeah, security be right over. You know, I figure if one phone line is dead, then all of them are, but I'll check anyway. Phone's dead. Well, that's cool. Again, I'm hearing this dripping. It sounds like water, but you know it's blood. It something sounds like water dripping. Scissor man's just behind it. Ooh. Wow. That's really messed up. That's a grisly death. That's like... Okay, that's just the scary dead person. So that, that's like that's like a Galarian's death. Like, that's like unnecessarily gruesome. Like, just... He hung him on the hook where you hang coat. That's really dark. The Scissor Man's really getting creative. He really is. Okay. Well, we've already explored the bathroom, haven't we? How far can I go? Oh, okay. Um... Here? I don't know. Have we been in the lower one already? I forgot. Maybe not. I mean, certainly not with Helen, but with Barton? I don't know. Wow. No possible way a scissor man gonna pop out of one of these. I won't be satisfied until I come back out. This door should lead to the parking lot. Huh. The doorknob is wired shut. It won't open. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, if I could do something to the wire. Gee golly, I think I can. Un... It worked. I don't know, that, that, that little, ex like, the little exclamation, like that, uh, like it always just kind of looks weird when it's written out. All right. Huh? 
It's even locked, too. Well, I have the storage key, right? Do I need to, like... Okay. It opened! I've got to get to my car and fast. And I don't have to worry about saving anybody because there's no one here to save, so no H ending for me. Oh, we're actually driving away? That, we, we got away with it? Huh. Well, I'll be damned. We actually got away with it. Hmm. This is gonna bug me. When did I save with Barton? Because I want I want to have like a Jennifer file and a Helen file because I don't feel like doing Barton's thing again. I guess worst case scenario, Barton's thing didn't take that long, but whatever. What in the hell is going on? We haven't solved the last case yet, and now another mass murder? And you're saying the murderer is Scissorman? But it's true, I saw him clearly. Oh boy, oh boy. I sure hope you weren't daydreaming with Jennifer. Well, we're done questioning you for now. You can go on home now, Teach. Hmm. Oh, but don't go anywhere too far for a while because I'll probably have to call you in again. Soon. I know, Guts. Are we good? We're playing? Okay. Well, that was a pretty crazy turn of events, but for now, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We got through Helen's first scenario with a ton of Scissorman attacks. That was freaking ridiculous, but you know what? We made it out of our office building, despite two grisly deaths, and we're back. Let's hope that was the last of the Scissor Man. I mean, who am I kidding? It's Clock Tower. You know damn well he's coming back. We'll deal with him when that happens. Until next time, everyone.